Hello friends, Stepper Driver here, and uh, sorry for the switch over, I just wanted to make sure there was no lag in this video. Um, that was what I was really worried about, I did not want a lag of any kind going on, um, so I just ended up, you know, switching programs back to something I know that works until I can fine tune Streamlabs or something. There's not really a big point in using it uh, to try to stream. I probably need to ask somebody who knows more about streaming. I just do not have the knowledge and to be able to fine tune it to be able to work for streaming. I don't really know anyone that does streaming uh, a whole lot. I mean, I can ask some of the streamers that I watch, um, but they're not going to know my system. They're not going to know like how my system pertains to these programs. So. I might need, just need to go find some uh, some computer place and test it out with them to try to get my computer to run with the certain programs that are ideal for streaming. Uh, without that, or uh, but moving past that, I should say, moving past that, we're going to do a deck profile today. And then on top of that deck profile we're doing, we're going to be playing at least one maybe two matches depending on how the ladder works out for us i mean we could probably try to to battle one of our friends but uh i don't think that's gonna work out i'd have to really talk to them so we're gonna be testing out the new brand new greninja gx and we are doing this ultra budget style we're not using any of the big name cards like sycamore and lele um any of those big cards that you hear of. We're going to use a lot of the cards you can find in, you know, theme decks, uh, evolution packs, uh, stuff like that. I mean, some of these cards still might be somewhat hard to find, but, I mean, I'm sure they're not they're not too hard. I mean, I know we have some Cynthia's, but those are in some theme decks as well. So, we are playing two Greninja GX's. To match with that, we are playing three Drampas. That Grandpa, so this is Grandpa Ninja. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for the thumbnail, but it's going to be something to do with Grandpa Ninja. Yep. So we have Drampa, Righteous Edge, Discard, Special Energy. We'll use that occasionally. But really what we're using Drampa for, and I actually might want to throw a Ninja Boy in here, is to start off the game. We're going to try to Big Wheel GX, get as many Frokies down as possible, turning into Frogadiers to spread that damage and give us enough damage to be able to one-shot things with Berserk. Because if your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on it, which we play Potown, so our Greninjas will, this attack does 70 more damage. That's 150 damage. Uh, we combine that with the Choice Band, which I think we play, is 180, plus a Greninja is 210, plus a Frogadier, that's 230, which is enough to knock out Greninja, uh, incidentally. Uh, so that is our kind of basic idea there, is that uh, we're, you know, we're, we're berserking, big wheeling, and it's we're budgeting it up uh so um hope i'm not yelling sorry guys uh i don't know what i'd cut for a ninja boy but i do think ninja boy would be useful in case we start with a froki instead of a drampa um we play two float stuns and uh but like i said we're okay we'll just go to list and we'll see if i have an idea afterwards to be able to where i can plug in a ninja boy um of course three Three Drampas, because it's our ideal starter. We have four Frokies, because we want to evolve into our Greninjas. We have four Frogadier, because Frogadier's damage is good. Uh, two damage counters on any one of your opponent's Pokemon. We have uh, two Greninja GXs. Uh, I'll show you this one. Um, with Shuriken Fury, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So like I said, that really boosts the damage output of Drampa. Uh, I know Drampa's still weak to Buzzhole, but we'll see what we can do. This is super budgety after all. Um, one Shadow Stitching um, Greninja, because it's just really good. Um, Greninja Shadow Stitching can just, you know, can block those abilities for a turn and can really help you out if you get in a tight jam. So it's really just worth it to continuously play this one still. You're never going to use Moonlight Slash. If you're using him, you're going to probably use Shadow Stitching to be able to slow down your opponent. We got the Theme Deck one, so pretty easy to find. Uh, two Field Blower. Nope, just one. Just one Field Blower to be able to get rid of uh, Garbotoxin so that we don't. So we can still utilize our Greninjas. 
I mean, we may be able to, we may want to get a second one, but I guess space is tight when you're not using I idyllic stuff. Um, but we're also playing one multi-switch. This is just super useful if I end up throwing, like, in the beginning of the game, if I have no energy on Drampa on the active, but, um, and I still need to activate Berserk. No, this way. If I have a DCE on Drampa, I need to activate Berserk. I can throw down a rainbow on a Greninja and then multi-switch it up. So you have your damage on your bench, so your Berserk can do the attack, and you just did the extra damage from dropping down a Greninja. So that's what multi-switch is for, and roughly. It's also if you know if you have just if you have your energy on the wrong Pokemon, you can switch it over. It's also very useful to get a Greninja set up pretty quickly. You can manually attach for turn, and then if your Drampa has those two energies on it, you can go ahead and multi-switch it up to the Greninja, be able to attack with the Greninja, and put it back in the deck. Nest Ball, we're playing three because it is important to get down our uh, Froakies as soon as possible. Obviously, if we were playing this in Expanded, this would be a Dive Ball, because Dive Balls are super useful. Special Charge, because we do play a lot of special energy. Um, I would even try to put a second one in here, but in case we might really run into um, Energy Denial decks, but uh, I think we're fine with the one for now. Super Rot, we use this to put back our Greninja line mostly. Um, we had Rescue Stretcher in here before as well. But Super Rod is basically what we're going to be doing. We're gonna, if we put anything back in the in the, in the the deck, it's going to be a full line of Greninja. Uh, pretty much that simple. Uh, we also play four Ultra Ball, pretty standard every deck. Four Po Down because we want this down ASAP. We want to make sure when anything evolves, it takes 30 damage counters so that this the utmost importance to have a po town down um and then, yes that's going to do damage to us but that sets up her ace of rolla if you have any damage on your pokemon you can pull them back in your hand so po town sets up greninjas perfectly for ace of rolla i would play more of these but there's really just no room i really want I, if you watched the last video you really uh and it wasn't lagging too much um, you'll see that I was trying to squeeze in some Ace Rollers and I just wasn't sure how to. Um, but we got two in. We got two in. We have four Cynthia for general draw support. Three Guzmas, be able to knock out what we want. Three Hala, because we're going to use our GX attack immediately. And this is a better Cynthia if you've used your GX attack. It's that simple. We're playing Hala because we use our GX attack right away. Um, we got the full art one too. He's so sweet in that picture. And then we play four lilies because we want Lily our first turn. You can draw eight cards on your first hand if you have a Lily in your hand. And that's what our idyllic is. Our idyllic is start with Drampa, start with a couple Frokies, uh, an energy, a couple items, uh, Lily, get the rest of your Frokies down, and then Big Wheel GX, get you. Frogadier's down, and it just it goes from there. That's really our idea, is uh, that Lily first turn. We got two Olivia's. This can get us a Drampa's or a Greninja's, and that's really what we want with her, is uh, Drampa's or Greninja's. If we're missing our Drampa's, go search them out with Olivia if we're missing Greninja's, because we only play two Greninja's, and we're trying to use Olivia, so if we have key turns when we really need it, we can grab it. It might be a cuttable card, though. Three choice man for those numbers. Uh two float stones to be able to pull like frokies out of the active so your drampa can be up there um four double colors pretty standard four rainbow because drampas do well with rainbows um <laughs> and the one water energy to finish it off and that is the deck we are going to export it copy it to the clipboard put it down in the description below and uh let me know what you guys think what you guys would change but i've had some pretty pretty good luck with this uh not facing anybody, but like just testing against my other decks. I've had pretty good luck with this. Um, not playing Greninja though, I was playing, um, what was it? I was playing Decidueye, but it's a similar concept. Uh, Decidueye has that steady 60 damage if you have all three out, but uh, I wanna see how well Greninja can pull it off. Also, they had rare candy, but you know, things happen. Uh, we're gonna save this. This is Greninja GX budget one. Um, or hashtag, um, which is what I usually been doing, uh, Ninja Grandpa. Can it fit? Ninja Gram, that works. Ninja Gram. Save it, take it to the ladder. Uh, 
behind Glaceon. Okay. Just so, just so I know where it's at. I would take it to a tournament, to be honest, but uh, not that definite about it. Let's go to standard. Um, and it's behind Glaceon, you said? It should be this way, because it had explanation points. Yeah, I gotta clean this up. I gotta clean this up bad. Um, should go to water, too. Uh, Grandpa, we about no. Um, Grandpa, we probably nope. There is Glaceon, 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 Radicate, Glaceon, Greninja, GX, Ninja, Gram. Okay, yeah, here it is. Here it is here. Um, Ninja Gram. Let's see what it does. Let's see how it does. We're gonna see right now. We're facing some fairy water fighting dark. Fairy fighting water dark. What's fairy in there? JJ Stevens. Stevenson. Who goes first? Me or you? We're gonna find out. Right meow. We got a mulligan. Mulligan. Oh mulligan. They get their card out though. They get their card out though. I think we're gonna start things off with a Drampa. Do we get more than one mulligan? Good, I did not want more than one mulligan. We do start things off with Grandpa, and we got some lilies to find what we need, too. So hopefully with Lily we can find an energy, because that's what we're lacking. Our opponent is going first with that Ralts. Hopefully they do not end us. Eh, end wouldn't be too bad, we still get six cards. But we really want that Lily first turn. We're playing Guardi Zork. So we'll see how we fare against this. They already got the blend onto the Zoroark. They're hoping to Trickster GX. So we can't have... Uh, we're gonna make sure Drampa's like the one out there. Judge? Oh, are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Judge? A first turn Judge? A disruptive Gardevoir list. Never thought I'd see the day. Uh, I guess we'll throw this on here. Yeah, that works. And we'll Cynthia. Just show them that, like, that was dumb. Uh, get a Fergie down and another Fergie down. Double Fergies. And then hopefully we can use our big wheel hill. And that'll get us our, uh, our Potown. Yep, there's a Potown. And there's that Frogadier, so we can get that damage ready. Uh, we just don't have another energy. If we draw the rainbow, that'd be nice, because we can drop it and then multi-switch it forward. Get rid of some of these cards. They have the Lily. So unfortunately, Lily's not as useful now, but still useful. You can still draw up to six cards with Lily. So luckily, Drampa can hit Curlia without the damage onto the on the bench. Ooh, two Frogadiers, nice. What we need is an energy, though. It's like that's the question right now. Like, do I really? I don't need the damage yet. I can one-shot this just the way it is. If I get an energy. Um, because otherwise I can only hit it for 20, which means these aren't enough. Um, let's go ahead and put that down. Let's put everything on the Zorx, I think. on the Potown before they evolve. Uh, Field Blower doesn't help us. Floatstone, we don't need it yet, so we probably shouldn't play it. 
Yeah, the question here really is the Ultra Ball. Do I get rid of the Monty Switch and the Special Charge? Uh, I guess that's the right play. You just can let me know in the comment section if I just goofed. I could just grab the Go Ninja though. Let's just grab the good ninja. Worst case scenario, they end us. I meant to throw everything back in the deck. But I think for now we're gonna righteous edge here. I really wish I would have found an energy there. There was a card that I definitely didn't need. And then there was energy. So they get the field blower, get rid of that Po Town and the float. not a big deal because now we can throw a choice band on it and a float if they uh, end up using us oh that poton would have really helped right now smack that's all they can do to us is smack another energy um this is what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna knock out the curlier here See what we can get on the prizes. Another Proton, that's better. A little too late, but... It's better late than never, right? So I guess we're gonna throw a choice down here. Kind of out of dead hand, though. They're gonna try to get us with these Zorix. Um, and unfortunately our play is kind of out in the water. We need our rainbow energy in order to do damage here. So it's almost better to throw this on here. And just righteous. So we're still applying good early game pressure it looks like. Even though they just got what they needed. But our Protown will definitely help with that. Now that thing only has 160 HP. Which means we can hit it with Drampa with a choice band. We don't really need to hit it for anything else. They're gonna need to roll up, bring that up. Why wouldn't you trade first? Oh. I was confused, I guess. I would have traded first though. Trade away that fairy energy. I would have done that before playing it down. Really? You're gonna put yourself with no Okay, note to self, do not play a supporter to help them. Just go ahead and discard this energy and sit. Um, we're going to throw a choice ban on the uh, Greninja here. And do they have any tools? They have no tools and we just got a super rod. So we're just going to right your side here. That was a really bad play. Now you got to rely on a top deck. Gardevoir taking damage too. How much damage did you take already? 60. Which brings it down to 170. Get another Drampa. Uh, we'll throw that down and go ahead and Righteous Edge. Never seen this. I, I've never seen what that deck bricked so hard, and I've never seen this deck brick so hard. Um, they need to start trading before I take out this uh, this Zorak here. Better hope they get another Zorak. Tried that other card. Nope, you get a fairy energy and a great ball. It's not the idealist of a Zorg uh, Gardevoir deck. Nine? What? What are you playing? So this is not the ideal um, that we're playing against. But we didn't do everything super ideal ourselves. Um, right now we, we threw away our multi-switch, which is what we need in order to get damage on these guys. We get a Cynthia! Uh, that's grand news. Grand news. Throw a float on this Greninja. Still no tool cards over there, so we're gonna go ahead and Cynthia. For some stuff. Um, we'll do this. 
because we can hit for numbers. And s yeah. Um, go ahead and nest ball. Grab another Froakie. And throw a choice band on it. And we will berserk. For overkill. Get two more prizes. A Lily and a Guzma. So Guzma we can seek out and find exactly what we want to knock out next turn. Ooh, they got the double colorless on the Gardevoir. Hit that force on our Drampa to take two prizes. So we have something with the float, right? Yeah, we have something with the float. Cynthia, Guzma, uh, and we also have Hala. I think we're on a Hala here because we have six cards and we don't necessarily need these six cards right now. We need six different cards. So we're on a Hala. And since we used our GX attack already, we get more cards. Let's go ahead and uh, throw down the Faroki here. Uh, put those two damage counters on the Gardevoir herself. I think that helps us out. Gets it down to 150. We're hitting 140 with Haze Slash. So that's unfortunate. Um, we don't quite have enough. But it might be fine. Uh, we'll put that there. Retreat. Um, I think we're gonna haze slash and put it back in the deck actually. 30, 60, 90, 30, 60, 90. So it does 180. And we have 220. Ah, uh, we might be able to survive a hit here. But 210, choice band. So we'd need two things. Let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. Let's put everything back in the deck. And we'll put the Greninja active here. Because it has free retreat. The problem with that is we have no uh, energy on the board now, but Drampa can knock this out with Righteous Edge. But if they have Ace Roller, we're kind of we kind of screwed ourselves. But I I trust we we still have a, a decent lead there. Wow, so there's 60 more damage. Is that enough? That might be enough. They just added 90 more damage. Oh no, that's only 180. That's only 180. That's right, that's right. That's only 180, it's not enough. And we can simply... Throw this on here. Retreat into Drampa here. And this is actually a good Lily spot. Ooh. Uh... What do I want this damage? That's damage. I want that damage somewhere. Ah, uh, since I'm not sure... Hey, I said evolve. That was weird. Um, we'll throw it on the rods that has energy on it. Righteous Edge. Nice going. Nice going, Grandpa. Rainbow energy and a double colors. So that's why it was kind of hard to find some energy. That's significant. When we only play nine energy, having two of them in the prize cards means you have seven energy in the deck. That's why it was hard to find energy in the beginning. But we were able to take it, it looks like. I mean, if they end us, we're kind of screwed. So I would maybe suggest we do something in like an octillery in here but uh but we here can berserk for game here we don't need anything else i'm slightly short on the uh 
If I had to choice ban on the Drampa, I would be able to knock out the Zoroark, but maxing out at 150, unfortunately. There you go. You kind of, I did kind of still give the idea of what the deck's about here, which is I'm gonna call a win. Uh, well, it was a win, but it wasn't a win against you know Zor or Gardevoir. It was a win against like a budget Zor or Gardevoir, maybe. Yeah, you need four Zoroarks to make that work. I don't know what the Alolan Vulpix Nine Tails is about. That's just weird, and a little disruptive too. <clears throat> a little disruptive. Interesting. Did they just have like trainers up like crazy? Something I think of. So there we go. Drampa MVP today. Uh, deck list will be down in the description for you guys. Feel free to copy paste it and uh, make your own version. I really like this idea of you know Drampa with uh, stage two or stage one even could probably work with it, where you know you just Lily first turn. I, I think it's like kind of a new a new engine kind of But it might just be a budget engine that I'm thinking of because I'm thinking budgetally and most people aren't going to do it because it's not as Competitively viable as the engines that are there So go ahead and try it out for yourself and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below This has been Dapper Jabby. I'll bid you guys a Lola and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good day now. Bye. Bye